so today we're here with Jennifer Paquet, who is the director of the preschool here at the church um, for about to start your fourth five, year? Five, five. Fifth year. Yes. Fifth year. And a teacher here for many years before that. Nine years before that. Yeah. And a mom previous to that. So yes. She's, she's been, been here for time. a hot minute. Yeah. Love that. So we're going to do the same thing. Same 10 questions, sight unseen. Um, here we go. Okay. All right. I'm ready. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, what are the three most important things that someone should know about you? Three most important things. Okay. I guess that my family comes first, always. Mm -hmm. um, family is very important. I do love my job. I love what I've chosen to do as a profession. And the, I love to travel and read. Yeah. So. Yeah. And your family lives where you have to travel to see them. Exactly. Yeah. Upstate exactly. New York, right? Upstate New York. From Buffalo. Yeah. Very similar to Georgia, Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Such mild winters up there, right? Yes. Well, and the mild summers here. So <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Perfect. You move from one extreme to the <laughs> to other. To the other. Yes. I like the winters. I don't like the winters, so. Yeah. So this is better for you. You'd rather sweat. Yes. Which is what we're doing today. <laughs> it's hot. Awesome. Okay. What is, you said you're a reader. So what is your favorite non-Bible book? Ooh, that's a good question mm -hmm. because there's so many. Yes. I had um, a hard time narrowing. Mm. I love Ken Follett, Pillars of the Earth. It's oh. probably my all-time favorite. Okay. And then um, he also has a trilogy that I loved. I'm a big historical fiction fan. Okay. So, yeah, I'd have to say Pillars of the Earth. Very cool. I didn't know that about you. Historical mm -hmm. fiction. Love that. Yes. Right. Perfect. What is your favorite place you've ever been? Ooh. Hmm. I have to say England. Yeah, because there's so much history there, and yeah. um, just love the castles and the, the landscape and the people. Um, yeah, that was probably my favorite trip. Very cool. Did y'all go as a family or is it before Not kids? Just before kids, mm -hmm. I went with my husband. Um, my best friend from college was on a Fulbright trip over there, um, so my husband and I spent a week. Then he went home, and then I stayed another week and a half, and I got to tour her school with her and spend time in her classroom. And I did a lot of my own as well. Yeah. So. Really nice. cool. What a neat trip. Yeah. Love that. What is one bucket list item that you have? I'd like to go to Japan. Cool. Yeah. 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 You should have gone for the Olympics. Couldn't go. Yeah. They wouldn't let you in. <laughs> that's no, that's, yeah, that's on my bucket list. I, yeah. It's something I want to do since I was little. Um, the architecture over there, the, just the whole vibe. Sometime. so different from ours. Mm -hmm. Like you go to England, it's like you can see the resemblance. Exactly. It's more historical, but yeah. Very cool. Totally okay. Awesome. If you could eat one food every day for the rest of your life with no health consequences, so no weight gain, no sugar spikes, no cholesterol, what are you, what is your thing? It's a toss up. Mm -hmm. it's between spaghetti and ice cream. Spaghetti. I think it's going to have to be spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you home make a good spaghetti? Yes. Yes. Sauce from scratch. Love Meatballs it. from scratch, but nice. spaghetti. And what's your ice cream flavor? Whatever's available. <laughs> Whatever. I love ice cream all ice cream. Ice cream. Awesome. <laughs> There's not a flavor I don't like. So. I love that. What if you go to Baskin Robbins? What is like the first flavor you get? Probably anything with caramel. Yeah. Chocolate. Pistachio. Yeah. So Ryan's a pistachio person too. Interesting. Yeah. Very good. Now I know how to bribe you. <laughs> Pasta and ice cream. I'm easy. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's, that's the core of all of our hearts, I think. Pasta and ice cream. <laughs> it's core of mine, anyway. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, what did you want to be when you were a kid? A gymnastics instructor. Really? I wanted to teach gymnastics because I was in gymnastics for so long and loved it. And I said I'd do that. But I don't know that I knew that you did that. I also was in gymnastics for a very long time. Yeah, I thought I was going to be merely written for yeah. sure. Well, I was a little, I'm a little bit older than you, so I thought it was going to be Nadia. I'm an Which is also, <laughs> yeah, a, quite a goal. Yeah. Fantastic. So. All right. Is there any other thing that you would like to say to the congregation that I have not reached into the depths of your soul to share? I think you reached into the depths, lovely. I the think depths. there's not much else that they need to know about me. <laughs> so I love it. Awesome. Well, we're so glad that you're here. We love having you on staff. She's amazing at the preschool. We are so lucky Thank to have you. her. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Jennifer Begay. It was really great. <laughs>